and you might notice that right over here there is a doorway so we're gonna go in this doorway come on Link turn back into a Goron and now we're gonna do possibly the most annoying side quest in the game uh, what's in here nothing so hey it's Medigoron remember him so we got the powder keg so just answer yes to his questions and he'll give you this giant freaking bomb um, yes, it's ticking. Take, excuse me. Wow, fur. Shut up! I got a, I'm on a freaking time limit. Where is it? Take too long. Will you just pick it up? Take too long. This thing will blow. Um, just telling you right now, that's bad. You don't want that to happen. So, just go ahead and chuck it up there. Will you just grab it? Yeah, that's so annoying because half the time he doesn't want to grab the dang thing. So, we're going to take this up to a certain place, which you will see as soon as I get there. Providing, of course, that I get there on time. I'm trying to take the shortest route that I know of at the moment. So yeah, there's basically a fuse, it's ticking, it's a giant bomb. What else is there to say? And you see that, like, that, like uh, skull on the side of the barrel? You know what that reminds me of? You know what I'm that time they have, like, a skull mask? Get away from me, you freaking wolf. Okay, it looks like a skull mask. So anyway, there is a, out of my way, oh my gosh, there is a giant rock up here that can't, you can't blow up with normal bombs. So you gotta use this giant nuke to make it explode. In fact, I made pretty good time with this. Usually, I get here just in time, but it looks like I got here in pretty good time. So come over here, place it next to the rock, and you can either wait or shoot it with an arrow. I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna talk to this kid, see what he has to say. Uh... Yay, Gorn races. But rock is in the way. Spring, shut up. You're just a crybaby. Did I just miss that giant barrel? Wow. Yeah. I did it. I'm now a kid. Okay, so yeah, we've got to do the Goron races. I hate this. I hate this a lot. It's really, really annoying. Excuse me if I start swearing because this is very annoying. But I probably won't swear because I don't like to. It's not my thing. So... If you haven't guessed already, this is, you know, a race. <laughs> Judging by Goron race. Huh. Doing some stretches there, are we boys? Okay. Who do we talk to? We talk to the kid, I think. Um, yep, just say yes. And more magic power. Okay, that's nice. This is annoying. Okay, this is very annoying. Crap. <laughs> are you kidding? One. Go! Oh. Okay, we've got a nice good head start here. Hopefully we can keep the lead. Now, in order to win this race, you have to stay on the inside of the track at all times. Do not crash. When they get near you, hit them. And when you turn red, don't crash into anything. You will stop. Okay? Just, just some advice. Don't go on, try not to go on the jumps because they take too long. And keep your magic meter nice and full. Ah, oh, crap. See, probably not going to do too well now. These trees are annoying. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, come on. What the heck? Am I in last place now? That's bull crap. Yeah, I'm never going to win this now. Out of my freaking way. Okay, yeah, I'm probably not gonna win this. This is truly the most annoying part in the whole game, at least I think. It's just so annoying. Nope, I see the finish line, I'm not gonna get ahead, am I? Oh crap, I came in second. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta do it again. Oh, come on. That's not cool. Dang it. Believe me, this is worth it. So, if you can bear the pain of doing this, it's well worth it. Okay, this time we're gonna try a different tactic. I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna bother crashing into these guys. Cause that's what screwed me over last time. Get away from me, you... Stupid... Crap. Get away from me. How come that even though I have spikes, I can still get knocked over by trees? Okay, avoid the- Frick! Oh, come on! You're kidding me! This is stupid! Oh my god! What the heck? You've got to be joking! You... You have got to be kidding me! Wow! This is stupid! <sighs> F this! Stupid race! It's so annoying and I hate it! Great! Now I'm not gonna win. Ah, uh, can I pull it off? Get out of my way! Uh, yes! Yes! Oh, I did it! Oh, look at that. Second try. Jeez, that's annoying! Did I win? I better have won. Yes, thank you.
Okay, for the winning of the races, we get the gold dust. And it's in a bottle, and yes, we get to keep the bottle. So that's cool. Now, how the heck do we get out of here? Um, F off. I take it we go this way. Yep. Okie dokie. Well, now that that annoyance is out of the way, we're going to go ahead and go back to the... Thank you for throwing that rock. That was completely necessary. We're going to go ahead and go back to the mountain village. Because it's just cool. So you may have been wondering what this house is all about. I didn't go in it when it was frozen because it's completely useless. Um, when you go in here when it's frozen, that big guy there is frozen in a block of ice and so is the fire. It doesn't make any sense. So anyway, we go ahead and speak to this guy and he says complete gibberish. Coffee. Okay, so he's gonna say he's gonna reinforce our sword. So, blah, 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 just say yes, okay, say, oh, what, oh, crap, I don't have a hundred rupees, dang it, that's just dumb, Ugh. well, I'm gonna go get 100 rupees, see you in a sec, okay, guys, now might be a good time to mention, you need to get the adult's wallet, uh, by depositing 200 rupees in a bank before you can do this side quest. Make sure you do it. Otherwise, you will be screwed like me. Okay, guys. I got 100 rupees now. So, now we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and talk to this guy again. Because we have money now. So, once again, just mash the A button, and just say yes, he'll take all your money, because he's a greedy son of a money person. Does he have, like, a shirt on, but he's still got his... oh, whatever. So, he's taking our sword, and we don't have a sword now. So, make sure you don't go anywhere, because you will get owned. So, we're gonna play the song a couple times, and we're gonna make it tomorrow morning, second day. So it's playing warfare, whatever you kids say these days. <coughs> Back to the first day. And same again. It's an awesome song. I love the song at time. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool if you could actually control time? Although then you'd kind of affect everybody around you, and that would kind of suck, but still. It would be pretty awesome if you could, like, pause time. Like, say you have to an answer to a question on a test. You could, like, pause time, go to the back where the teacher's sitting with the answer key, and then get all the answers. Anyways, so we start a sword now. We have the Razor Sword, but this is not the upgraded blade. You can only use this 100 times, and then it will break. So now he notices that we have Gold Dust. And he'll be going, Whoa! So, what we have to do is speak to him again. So, I'm just gonna hand him the gold dust. There you go. Oh, by the way, I got my favorite mask on again. <laughs> Bunny hood. Okay, once again, come back tomorrow morning. Oh, and by the way, once you get the powder keg, I forgot to mention, you can buy him at any point now in Clock Town from that one merchant who sells the bombs. So you can get another one anytime to use anywhere. Which we'll be getting and using for another quite important side quest to get a mask. Anyway, this is just for sword. You don't get a mask out of this, but this is well worth it. Oh, there's the telephone. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, ladies and gents. Just the, um, that's the telephone there. Uh, we'll go ahead and proceed to the dawn of the final day. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, pretty scary, right? Yeah. So here we are, door to the final day. You better have my friggin' sword ready. I'm gonna shoot some fire arrows up your orifice. Did that... Okay, did that just go right through him? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! That... Okay, that makes sense. Anyway... We got the Gilded Sword! Better, better sword that will never break, and it looks really, really cool. 
So we gave up the gold dust, but we got two bottles now. So yeah, let's go test out our sword because it looks freaking amazing. Uh, let's test that on the sign. Uh, uh. How about the spin attack? Yeah, look at that. Pretty effective there. Uh, is that a B? Die! Oh, by the way, if you can't figure out how, you, how to do that quick spin, it's a quick rotation of the control stick with a B button press, and that does a quick spin. And it's pretty useful. Because it doesn't, it doesn't use up magic. Anyway, uh, that's probably about it, because now we can't do anything unless we go back in time. So, I will have to say that's it for now, and I will see you all next time, where we will continue our adventure in a Terminal.